LVP or luxury vinyl plank is one of my favorite types of floors. It's relatively durable and easy to clean and maintain. Now there's definitely some do's and don'ts when it comes to this type of floor. So let me show you how to get it clean and keep it fresh for years to come. So tip number one is to vacuum, sweep, or dust mop the floors thoroughly before you do anything else. Now, I know what you might be thinking, Brandon, of course, that's an easy step, everyone should do that. But sometimes this gets missed and it's really an extremely important part of the overall cleaning pie, especially when you're cleaning floors. You do not want to start to spray cleaner down when there's a lot of dry debris on the surface because essentially you're gonna spray that down, it's gonna hit dirt, whatever's on the floor and turn into mud essentially. And that's gonna be harder to get up off the surface and just take cleaning the floor longer. Now the other thing with LVP, which is interesting as well, is many of these types of floors have like an engineered wood grain texture to them. So what you don't wanna have happen is get the dirt or debris wet and then that seeps into those grains and it's harder to remove it from the actual surface. I see this a lot in like post-construction or new construction. There'll be a bunch of drywall sanding and that really fine drywall dust will get its way onto the floor. Someone will spray cleaner on it and immediately turns it into just a sticky mud that grabs into the grooves of the floor. So vacuum the floor as many times as possible if it's a new construction or construction cleanup type scenario as well, I vacuum, vacuum, and then when I think I'm done vacuuming, I vacuum some more. So tip number two is choose the right cleaner. Now we are at a store right now that has a ton of floor cleaning options on the shelf here, but there's two that I really like. This one here, Zepp's Neutral pH Floor Cleaner, along with Ecolab's Neutral Floor Cleaner. Now you might be wondering, what in the world is a neutral pH floor cleaner? Essentially, it's just a fancy way of saying the cleaner will not leave a residue, will dry streak free, and keep your floors cleaner longer. With LVP, I've seen it so many times where the floor gets sticky from that cleaning residue and it continues to grab dirt, gets dirtier and dirtier over time to the point where a professional has to come in and use special equipment to remove all the residue so it can get you back to a nice clean floor. So if you start by using a neutral pH floor cleaner right away, it's gonna keep your floors cleaner longer and you don't gotta hire someone like me to come fix it. <laughs> so in mixing the neutral pH floor cleaner, the cool thing about this Zep product is if you look here on the back, the dilution ratio is here and I like to usually just mix it up in a spray bottle like this one. What I do is add about a cap full in a about 16 to 20 ounce spray bottle. It's gonna go a long way. So tip number three is to keep your mop head clean. And I might say this is probably the most important step of the entire process. Now I like to spray my cleaner down and then come through with a flat mop and evenly go with the grain across the floor. I also kind of like to work in sections that way when I spray my cleaner down, it's not gonna dry before I get to it. But the reason that you wanna keep your mop head clean, and you probably already guessed it, is you just don't wanna be spreading around the dirt and ground that you're trying to lift up off of the surface across the floor. So whether you're using a flat mop like I like to use or even a traditional bucket and mop system, rinse, rinse, and more rinse. <laughs> I feel like I just said that with vacuuming as well. But if you have the urge of, I wonder if I should rinse my mop head right now, just do it because you can't really rinse too much. The more that you rinse, the cleaner your mop head's going to be and the more dirt and debris you can pull off the floor. So if you need to get your floors dry as quickly as possible, what I suggest using is just a dry, clean microfiber flat mop head here and then work your way back into the room going with the wood grain. This head will just pick up any remaining moisture that's on the floor, getting it dry nice and quick. So far we've talked about all the things you should do, but at the start of the video, I mentioned some things to look out for or never do at all. One of them being a steam cleaner or steam mop. When you repeatedly use steam on this type of floor, depending on the construction, it can cause permanent damage or even start to loosen some adhesives that were used during the install. The other thing that maybe doesn't matter so much, but in most cases, it voids the warranty with the manufacturer as well. They do not like to use steam cleaners with this type of floor. Another thing is to never use a wax or sealant on this type of floor. 
It's interesting because LVP usually is a matte finish and every once in a while I'll run across a customer that says, Brandon, can you make my floor shiny? Unfortunately, LVP in nature is just not shiny and there's a lot of other types of floors to give you that look, but LVP in my experience really isn't one of them. And if you do start to put wax down on this type of floor, it will look good for a while, but it will start to wear uneven and then you're just gonna have even more trouble removing that wax and trying to get it back to where it started. Now you know how to keep your LVP nice and clean. Check out another video and I'll help you clean that up.